today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the drum brakes on the Mazda 2, which will in turn... Wow, that door's locked. Ridiculous. Which will in turn allow you to properly adjust that bad boy there. Cut to the good stuff. Now, full disclosure, I've already done the other side just to make sure that all the information I'm telling you is correct and just so I have a good idea of what to show you. The first step is removing these little things, which are a bitch and a half. What these stupid little things do is thread into these holes and secure the drum to the hub, which is actually kind of unnecessary. The wheels actually secure the drum to the hub, so uh, what I recommend and what I've been told to do with these is as soon as you're able to remove them, chuck them right in the trash. The best thing for these when they're stuck is to get your drill, drill a hole, find a screwdriver you can stand to live without, wedge it in that divot, and then hit the end with a hammer. And it'll slowly start to hammer those loose, and then you can take them and throw them in the trash. Or you'll get lucky, and uh, they'll come out by hand. Bye ho! Next is removing the drum, which will probably be a little bit seized to the hub, but that's nothing that your rubber mallet can't take care of. Just give it a few hits around. Good hits! And, oh my god, I just can't get this thing pulled off for the video clip, can I? Oh my god, I suck. There we go. Thank you. So with the drum off, you're gonna wanna look for your adjuster, which is this little spinny wheel guy here with the teeth on it. Despite there being a self-adjuster in place, they typically don't work as designed. This is why we're coming in here and manually doing it ourselves. And the process is pretty easy. You just grab your flathead screwdriver, stick it into one of the teeth, and spin the wheel upward. In this case, it's clockwise on the passenger side and counterclockwise on the driver's side. Now as you're spinning the adjuster, there will be some light but audible clicks that you'll hear as you go. You want to do about five clicks, then reinstall the drum, give it a spin, and see how far you've gone. And if the drum proves too difficult to spin by hand or even install, you've gone too far and you're going to have to back off on this wheel a little bit. With the drum on, what you're looking for is a quarter to half a turn of spin. You just want minimal drag. Once you feel like you've got everything nice and dialed in, just lean into the car and give the handbrake three or four good pulls to seat the shoes. Notice anything different, by the way? Look at that. That's the travel now. One click. Just make sure that both drums are installed so that you don't overextend the wheel cylinders when you yank the handbrake. Before you button everything up and put the wheels back on, there's just one little bit of while you're in there work to do. There are some friction areas on the backs of these shoes where you want to apply a little bit of grease just to prevent any extra squeaking or noise. The spots are here, back behind the shoe here, and the same on the other side. You can see them, they're pretty obvious. You just want to grab your flathead, move the shoe to the side a little bit, Sandwich some grease in there. Same with down here. Just move the shoe out of the way. Sandwich some grease in there. And if you get any of the grease on the friction surface, just grab some brake cleaner and wipe it off. And there we are. Nice and greased. There are a couple of spots down here where you technically could grease as well, but they don't move that much and they're more difficult to get to, so take it or leave it. Just be careful not to overextend the wheel cylinders. Everything's all back together, now all we gotta do is put the wheels back on and give everything a try. The process is exactly the same on both sides except for that little adjustment wheel. You turn it up on both sides, it's just counterclockwise versus clockwise, but everything else, it's all exactly the same side to side. Already I can feel the brake pedals firmer. All right, so we're out on the slope of the driveway. There's one click. Oh, well, it would help if I didn't leave it in gear. <laughs> one click, and it's holding the car perfectly. Two clicks, this thing is not going anywhere. I'm bouncing back and forth, no sliding or anything. All you need is two clicks to hold the car versus a few prior to adjustment. It's 
perfect. Out on the road, the brake pedal is firmer. The brake engagement is more immediate. Quite the difference for just a little bit of adjustment. This is a pretty simple job, especially if you're experienced. I don't think it's an impossible thing for someone who's newer to working on their own car to do. I think really the limiting factor is access to tools. I needed a drill, several hammers, screwdrivers, and things like that, just to get those dumb little screws out of the drums that don't even need to be there. Like you saw, I threw them in the trash because they're unnecessary and they just lengthen the time that it takes to do this simple, simple job. Yes, there is an adjuster on the handbrake handle that you could definitely take the plastic off and just adjust the little nut on the handbrake handle, but that's really not the right way, and as you saw here, there are more benefits to taking the actual drums off and messing with the drum brake assembly than just adjusting the little nut on the handbrake and band-aiding the problem. Before I go this time, I want to give a quick shout out to Tony from the Mazda 2 Owners Group for providing the technical information that I've showed you today. I'm sure I probably missed a little something, but he's the professional, I'm just the jerk with the camera, and uh, I owe a lot to Tony and uh, other people from the Mazda 2 community. Like I said, I'm just a jerk with a camera who wants to share this stuff large and make it a little bit easier for people to do these little projects and everything. So. Uh, the information is invaluable, and I'm very grateful. Thank you again. Anyway, before I ramble on too much, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I hope it helps you. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And just move it. Not like that.